And, uh... I can't believe you've done this. Actually, I haven't done it in a while, so I don't really remember it. But yeah, it's like... One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, like that. That's the setup. And what you kind of do is you look kind of away. Because, like, on the next map, that, like, roof that we slope off of is actually pretty long. You have a lot of extra room for it. To land on it. So what you can do is you can uh, do that to get into this wall. Right there, I also, uh, I toggle duck like on my first jump and then just turned in, but you can wait for a couple jumps before you do the toggle duck jump. Like I said, there's a, there's a lot of ways you can just do this. But if you want like an actual like setup, that's, there it is right there. Explain how toggle ducking makes you stand. It's because uh, toggle ducking has a mechanic. If you're crouched and you jump, it'll it'll uncrouch you and jump at the same time. And what that'll do is that'll like do a perfect uncrouch jump for you without losing speed. Which is the idea of toggle duck jumps. But yeah. When okay, I missed time that first hop. One, two, three. One, two, three. So on the third jump, you press your toggle duck bind, release crouch, and then just turn and go this way. And you can keep your speed to go into this corner. But that, that should get you in the right spot. I guess I could go ahead and tell you, like, the, the sort of setup I look for, for, like, like the, a somewhat visual setup for uh, where the level overlaps. So you see this, like, catwalk here? That's like, if your hitbox is anywhere between like this like wall, this like textured wall here and this catwalk, it should be the, it should be within the area, like within the area, like forwards and backwards, like where, for, for like where your velocity is going. But for left and right, I just sort of aim for like to the left of this building pretty much, but not, you know, too far to the left, but more like. Somewhere between, like, maybe, like, here and here. Like. Like I said, just, just, just use the command. Just, just, just use the command to sort of feel it, feel it out where it is. It's like, stand still and do it, and that's where the, you need to place your hitbox. But now I need to show how you get back with this setup. One, two, three. Yes, toggle please. up. One, two, three. And then I keep my speed into this corner here. So this is an invisible corner here. <coughs> and what you can actually do here is there's a couple of ways to get back from this. A couple setups. So there's actually a mechanic where if you hold a strafe key against the wall, you'll build speed. It's actually an air strafe mechanic that a lot of, not a lot of people know about that's in Source. Even people who know Source quite a bit don't know that this mechanic exists. If you hold a sh like a singular strafe key and jump, you'll excel along the wall. So, uh, I forget the exact value for this. I think it's like 95, I think. Yeah, ni like negative 95. As you can see, I'm accelerating while I'm just holding the strafe key. And once I start accelerating, I just turn like that. And that should get me over here. Okay, so, so hold on, where tick. You need to place your hitbox. But now I need to show how one here. And what you can actually do here. Mechanic, where if you hold a strafe key against the wall, you'll build speed. It's actually an air strafe mechanic that a lot of, not a lot of people know about that's in Source. Even people who know Source quite a bit don't know that this mechanic exists. If you hold a, like a singular strafe key and jump, you'll excel along the wall. So, uh... I forget the exact value for this. I think it's like 95, I think. Yeah. Okay, 95. Let's give this a try. Because I can get the point, but I can't do is launch back. So rather than going down there and then setting up a toggle dock, which may be kind of slow, even though you can then keep speed against the wall again in that corner. So that was not enough speed. So that's fine. I 
I should have hit one more hop there, I think. Yeah. Okay, but whatever. Let's just say... I'm just going to try to get way back in this corner. That makes it seem so easy. One, two, three, boom. Yeah, I mean, this is this is the way zone. Uh, top, like the toppest of runners. It's a ninety-five. Oh, I'm not holding the the key into it though. So I didn't turn early enough. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, very, very helpful. Wayzone was actually like the first person that ever, from like the HL2 community, ever came into my stream and like offered like advice or anything. It was while I was doing Red Letter Day practice when I first started playing the game. Hey Taki, how's it going? How's your day going, Taki? Okay, so it would be pretty slow to come way back here and do that like that rather than... Any improvement? Uh, you know, no, but that's fine. That's fine. I mean, that's not true. There's definitely been like improvement, but like, no, nothing great so far. Let me watch this setup again. Um, maybe yes. I will do this so slow setup. So there's actually a aim for like go area like forwards and backwards, like where for for like where your velocity is going. But for hard left and right, I just sort of aim uh, for like no, just, just hard trick. Pretty much. Do, do you but know not, anything you know, about Red Letter Day skip? But more like somewhere between. I can like, give you like the like rundown if need be. Like, like I said, just 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 use the command. Just 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 use the command to sort of feel it feel it out where it is. It's like, but now I need to show how you get back with this setup. I guess I could go ahead and tell you like, the the sort of set you can keep your. Okay. You can just do this. Just like, let me go back to this point where he's because, explaining like, this that's basic setup. setup. You just uh, go found. So I will need a toggle duck bind quick. Fuck, I don't even know what key I would use for toggle duck. All my stuff's taken up. And the console's filling up with bullshit, so. Bind X. X is not bound. Okay, so. Bind X toggle underscore duck. Okay, so that'll do. So, you know, next to nothing about Half Life 2 speedruns. Okay, so. Load RLD skip. Zero. Okay, so. This game obviously has accelerated hops. Um, you know, there's accelerated backwards hops, there's accelerated sideways hops, there's accelerated 
forward hops and then there's the plus strafe which like makes forward hops like free um all of this will come into play in just a moment but till then this little section uh the first chapter of the game is very very free then the second chapter uh, a red letter day um has like a massive massive supposedly unskippable cutscene uh, if you could skip it in a way that is optimal, you could save like something like five minutes or something like that. So one day a casual player named Bill the Thrill was playing this game and they found, I don't know if they found this exactly, but they found a trick that is kind of similar to this. 